Welcome to The Vibe, covering new trends in fashion and culture in China and around the world, every day Monday through Friday. This Friday, things are looking good for the future of the for the feature adaptation of Frank Herbert's sci-fi novel at the Chinese box office Doom. Experts project the buzz flick will likely take in 380 million U.S. dollars globally. Beyond the Arrakis sandstorms, there's another sci-fi tentpole in the works. In fact, one in the east and another one in the west. Netflix and China's Tencent are both taking a stab at Liu Cixin's Hugo award-winning epic, The Three-Body Problem. Better Days director Derek Tseng will be helming Netflix's version, with a third of his cast being of Asian descent, compared to Tencent's version, made of, of an entirely Chinese cast. Casting aside, both sides seem to be in a close-run race to the next sci-fi blockbuster. Chinese technology giant Tencent released a trailer for its version of the three-body problem earlier this month. The TV series is inspired by the renowned book trilogy by Liu Cixin, which tells the story of what happens when humanity discovers we're not alone in the universe. The series will be headlined by famous Chinese actors, including Zhang Luyi, Yu Hewei, and Chen Jing. Liu Cixin wrote a screenplay himself. It's not the only version of the novel's TV adaptation. Netflix recently announced 12 actors set to appear in its own version. Chinese netizens are not impressed, indicating there's a lack in casting Chinese for the parts. The Three-Body Problem by Liu Cixin is probably the most loved sci-fi novel in China. And the English-language version won a prestigious Hugo Awards in 2015. To be honest, we didn't have high expectations for my book when it was first translated into English. As you know, the United States is the hub for modern science fiction, and we're just starting off. At that time, we simply just wanted the world to know that we have science fiction novels in China as well. I really didn't expect my stories to be so popular. China's sci-fi film production has witnessed growing popularity in recent years. The 2019 blockbuster The Wandering Earth made a splash in the nation's film industry, breaking in over 4.6 billion yuan, or 730 million U.S. dollars. The movie, also based on novel by Liu Cixin, is about the death of the sun and mankind's efforts to propel Earth to a new home in the universe. 75 percent of the special effects in The Wandering Earth were made by Chinese teams, reflecting improvements in Chinese filmmaking. The director of the film says there's still a big gap between the Chinese and American sci-fi film productions, but the local industry is working hard to narrow this gap. It began to dawn on me that we were lagging behind by at least 25 years in filmmaking. Perhaps we're not so backwards in effects for which there might be a gap of 15 years. Even our crew organization and division of labor was insufficient. Some vital departments and posts were simply non-existent. We had to rebuild the team and retrain ourselves. More challenging was the management know-how, such as coordination between departments and how people work together. The U.S. has the largest science fiction literature and movie market. The recent film, Dune, a big screen adaptation of American author Frank Herbert's 1965 novel of the same name, won big in the North American and Chinese mainland box office. Dreams make good stories, but everything important happens when we're awake. With the creative juices now flowing and technological innovation at full tilt, China may be on the verge of a huge breakthrough in sci-fi film production. Lin Xue, CGTN.